Okay, so I love this tip, mainly because it goes against everything that people tell you not to do as a producer. Now, when it comes to using audio effects, a lot of people tell you to put the audio effects on the send channels. So if you've got a reverb or a delay, they will tell you to put them on the send channels and then send a certain amount of your audio to those send channels to get the effects. Now, I tend to put the effects on the actual channels themselves. And by doing it that way, I'm able to do this little trick. So if you haven't seen it already, I am doing a brand new music production tip every single day this January. 31 days, 31 tips. And today it's all about misusing stuff. Basically, I have always had my own way of doing things. I learned music production software just through playing around. So maybe I don't know the right way of doing things, but that often gives me some really interesting results. And that's how I've come up with this trick. Now, as I said, most people will tell you to put your audio effects on the send channels and then send audio to them to get the effects. But what I do is I put the audio effects on the actual channels themselves. And by using the dry wet knob on some of the effects, you can create some really interesting transitions and build ups and things like that. And that's what we're going to go through today. So I'm going to jump into Ableton now and show you this awesome little trick. So we're looking at one of my latest tracks and we're in the main breakdown because I want to show you this effect that I did on the vocal. So we have a vocal within here that is repeating throughout that kind of build up and it's building up towards the end of the breakdown. And I want to kind of show you what I did with the reverb effect that I've actually put on the actual channel itself and I've automated the dry wet. Now I've actually disabled it for now because I want to show you what it's like before. So that works quite well, but I had this idea to kind of add more and more reverb as the kind of breakdown went on. As it started building up, I wanted to kind of make it a wash with reverb. Now, what I could do is I could have used the send channel and used the reverb on the send channel. So as time went on, as the breakdown went on, I, I could send more and more of that channel to the send channel. Now, the only problem with that is that you're also getting, you're getting the main kind of vocal plus the reverb channel, and it's kind of doubling the amount of vocal. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of take away some of that dry vocal and just have the wet vocal. Now you can do this by actually adding the reverb to the channel itself. And that's what I've done here. So what I've done is I'm going to automate the dry wet so that I can add more and more wet and at the same time take away the dry signal. So for example, at the start of this build up, let's set it as 20%. So it's 20% wet and 80% dry. And at the end of the build up, we want it to be 70%. So basically you only have 30% of the original signal in there. Now this makes it feel like the vocal is kind of being pushed away because you can just hear more reverb and less of the original signal. And then when the main vocal comes back in again, I want it to kind of go straight down so that it's completely dry. And it creates this really interesting effect where the vocal seems to go further and further away and then come straight back at you again. So this is what it sounds like with the effect. <laughs> And I'll play that once more again soloed so you can hear exactly what the vocals are doing. We can make it better. I just love that trick. I use it all the time in my tracks because it's just so effective and so simple to do. It has this weird kind of effect where you have the vocal right in front of you when it's mostly dry. And then as you add more and more wet to it, it gets further and further away, the more dry that kind of goes away from it. And then when you kind of snap that vocal back in again, you get rid of all the wet and you bring the dry back in again, bam, it just hits you back in the face. And it just works so, so well. So I definitely recommend giving it a try. It might not be the right way of using the effects, 
but it just creates this really interesting effect in your breakdowns that I totally recommend giving it a go. Now, if this video has been useful to you, then definitely subscribe to the channel. I've got another video like this coming every single day of January. As I mentioned before, 31 days, 31 tips. So definitely get subscribed and hit that notification icon so you're notified the moment that video pops online. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.